how's it guys? It's been such a long time since I last made a video and I'm so inconsistent about making these videos and posting and uploading them. But from now on, I'm going to try, make and post a video once a week and upload it and post it to YouTube. Don't know if it's going to be followed through, but we set the goal and we hope we make it. <laughs> but for today's video, it's a lot different than what it usually is and what I usually make. But without saying too much more, let's get in the video. So today's video is a What's In My Camera Bag 2020 edition. I have watched countless amounts of these videos and I was so fascinated by the concept. I was like, listen, I've got a camera, I've got a camera bag. Let's give it a try and let's make our own one. So the, what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to pack my bag as if I'm actually going to a gig. And then you guys get an idea of how and what I have in my camera bag. So the best thing to probably start off this video with is the actual camera bag. This is a Roly camera bag. It's your typical content creator, traveler type of bag. The reason why I got it is because it has this extra compartment at the top where I can fit other things besides just camera gear because like when you're busy walking around and stuff, you know, you want to keep an extra jersey around, like a hoodie or whatever. It's got space for that type of stuff, but also plenty of space for all the typical creator, photography, all that good stuff. So the first lens that I've got is my 10 to 18 f 4.5 to 5.6. This is probably one of my go-to lenses in terms of just taking landscapes. That wide open angle, just it's just you know you everything in there, and it's like essentially what you want for wallpapers. I also use it a lot for my festivals, especially just because it's so light and nimble, and it just does the job perfectly fine. It's also quite sharp, which I am really surprised considering the price of this um, lens. My next lens is my 24 to 105 f4. This is quite a killer of a lens, I can't lie. Like it is absolutely bang for your buck, especially like with it being more on the cheaper side of L series lenses. Um, the only thing is I never use it really. I, I don't ever. There's one or two gigs that you know you need that little extra zoom in capability, but otherwise I don't ever use this lens. My MacBook 13 inch 2017 edition. It's 128 gigabyte internal memory. It's probably your base model MacBook Pro, but at the end of the day, it's an absolute killer. There's everything I needed to do. Um, I would have preferred a little bit more of a stronger version so I could handle things like After Effects, but you know, we'll get there one day. So that slides in there. My next lens is my Sigma 18 to 35 f1.8. It's the lens I'm currently using right now to film this video. It is a killer of a lens. It costs so much money, but like if you work with photography and you do gigs and things, you will make your money back on this lens. This lens is absolute. I would recommend this 100% if you want to start out with photography or with your own photography business. All right, and then my main camera that I shoot on is my Canon 750D. I also have an extended grip for it, but that's currently being used right now to film this video. Um, it is not like the most professional camera out there, but at the end of the day, it still does what I needed to do. 1080p, 60 frames per second. 120 would be nice, but you know, we'll get there one day. <laughs> And then I also use my audio a video road mic mini, I think it's called. Um, pretty cheap uh, microphone to use. Uh, it does an absolute job. It, like my audio is 10 times better since I started using it. I can't recommend it enough, but also I'm using it right now to for myself speaking. So the next part of my gear, I don't even know if you can actually call it gear, but something that I always travel with is my notebook. Here you can jot down notes, ideas, Literally anything that I have ever done with photography or my videography or my content creation I've written down in here thoughts or afterthoughts uh, What I would have changed what I, ideas that I come up with in the moment Actually writing it down as opposed to like typing it on your phone makes a world of a difference it, it it enables it allows me to like separate my work from my like phone if that makes sense So when I open this I know I'm busy with content creation stuff but the moment I open my phone, you know, you get distracted by Instagram, WhatsApp, all those good things. So I can't recommend Notebook even more. Then I have my extended flash 600 EXRT. This thing is an absolute beast. I, like, I used to hire this always from a shop here in Cape Town. Um, and then eventually I managed to save up enough money to go buy my own one. I can't lie, I've made my money back on it in a couple months. It is crucial for event photography, especially when shooting at low light and light almost doesn't exist at some um, events. So definitely a must have an extended flash. Another part of my gear, especially because I often do travel quite a lot when I'm doing my content creation, is music audio headphones. I can't stress it enough, you need a nice pair of headphones just to be able to like put them on, lock in, tunnel vision on your laptop, your computer screen, just to be able to focus 
on your editing without having distractions around you is so, so crucial. These aren't noise cancelling headphones, but they do block out enough sound for me to be able to focus and just lock in on my work. Those of you who know, the MacBook only has USB-C ports on the side of it, so you have to go and buy one of these annoying dongles. This thing is absolutely crucial. If I have to go on like a weekend trip or whatever, and a holiday or whatever, and I lose this thing, not only is it expensive, but I can't do a single thing because nothing, I can't get anything onto my computer. So, probably the most crucial part of my entire gear. And then, <laughs> most of you know, MacBooks have no internal memory in them, so you gotta go buy yourself some hard drives. I've got at least six hard drives behind the camera here. I've labeled all of them, what year they are from, and what type of content on them as well. They all have like one, two, three, four, five, and usually what I have is I have one hard drive that I'm constantly editing off of, and then I take a new hard drive with on a holiday trip, whatever, just in case if the hard drive is stolen, or I lose it, or it's damaged, at least it's not the hard drive with all of my content on it and only the content that I got on the holiday trip. The next item on the list is my DJI Ronin S. This thing is an absolute beast. I've gotten some of the most smooth shots with this thing that I thought wasn't even possible. And then just like any other basic content creator out there, you have to have your drone. Now, I bought this Mavic Mini literally two days ago. This thing is brand spanking new. It is absolutely amazing. I'm still on the t trial run of it. Still trying to test out, push the boundaries. But so far, I've gotten some insane photos with it, some insane videos with it as well, and I'm pretty impressed with it overall so far. Um, yeah, spending the amount of money on a Mavic Pro or Mavic Pro 2 just isn't really like worth it at this point for me. So I thought rather than investing into a Mavic Mini and seeing from there if I can build more clientele around aerial photography, aerial angles, if that makes sense. So that's for today's video. I hope this video gives you guys a better idea of what type of gear I use. Over here, my Instagram. All the content that you see there is taken with the gear that I've shown you guys in this video. But without further ado, a massive thank you to everyone that watched this entire video and made it all this way. I really do appreciate you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video. Keep it simple. Cheers.